It was a lot of fun competing. I mean, that's what I love the best. I love the competition. And I know that the hard work, you know, has to be put in before you can enjoy your success. And so you just kind of, you know, get by those rough days and hopefully the next one will be better. I believe the one quality that Shannon Miller will always possess and everyone will remember about her is her dedication. And Shannon Miller never missed a scheduled practice in 11 years of competition. Uh, and I, I was her coach and I can tell you this uh, truthfully that she just uh, was always on time, always the first, first one done with her assignments, just her dedication uh, to the sport and, try, and trying to accomplish her tasks and her focus on setting, uh, setting and accomplishing her goals were second to none. Pushing herself isn't always easy. Practicing day in and day out doesn't come without the down times, the falls, the bad days. Go, 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 up, up. Not too bad, but your feet are really flexed. Uh, let's correct two things here, okay? You're not doing optimum vaulting, obviously, right? Not getting this good, strong run, but still using the tramp vault, so you're okay. And let's work at two things, the leg split on the way on and the execution on the way off, okay? Good point of view. Uh, I don't believe I'm ever too hard on her, but I'm sure that there's occasions where she does or her parents do or maybe even other coaches on my staff do. Um, I think I've lightened up a little bit because I've given her a little room to make some decisions on her own without releasing the res coach gymnast respect we have for each other. Uh, I think she trusts me wholeheartedly, and that's what the whole relationship is, is about. Uh, I don't think that <clears throat> making her training easier, uh, she would want that in any way. So I, I've never felt like I've been too hard on her, and I think that uh, her successes have proven that. Um, I definitely don't think he's too hard on me. Um, he's a very good motivator for me, and I've been with him for, gosh, a long time, probably 11 years. And um, it's been good to be able to work with one coach for that long because I know him really well and he knows me really well. And I've learned to trust him with, you know, all the decisions that he has to make, um, you know, with my gymnastics. And, you know, I know that he has my best interest in mind. Uh, Shannon knows what she wants. She's 19 years old. She's a very intelligent girl. And as far as, I mean, she's never wanted to quit. Not that kind of motivation. The motivation to, on a daily basis, to want to come in and when something's sore and, and she's tired, to go 100% and, and, and push her routines to the highest limit every single day. Yeah, that's difficult. And I'm always finding new and creative ways to do that. Uh, sometimes I have to be you know, kind of stern with her. Other days I have to be really positive with her. I just kind of have to see how she is that, that particular day and, and what's gone on the previous day and, and to determine how I'm going to react to her that day. I mean, it, it changes on a daily basis. Shannon, try to get your hand placement on the beam fairly close. You're taking a little bit too much space there. I mean, they're serious about taking the deduction, so let's be serious about getting them together. Thank you. Okay. A winning routine takes hard work and teamwork teamwork between an athlete and coaches and in gymnastics teamwork is built on respect and trust it took about a good year for her to totally trust me and and knowing that, okay, no, we're not gonna do these big tricks. You're gonna learn how to stand with perfect posture. I mean, I had to go that basic, but it paid off, the perseverance paid off, and as you see, she's world famous for her grace and beauty, along with her difficulty now. Stretch, stretch, good. Lock your knee out, better. Take your time, look, look, square feet, much better, look. And sharp. All right, sprint through, sprint through. Run, 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 run. Stretch. Hold. All right, five laps. It's 
it. That's it. Now up, up, up. Finish. You have to move, move a little faster. You're running really slow. How come so slow? Huh? Up. Up. Yeah, a little early. A little early. Up. Come on. Get your hips. Wait. Get, get in your landing position. Land. You just landed. Arms tighter. 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 Okay, now finish. All right, go. Yeah, that was a lot better. Well, I guess it's, I mean, it's definitely true. I think a lot of people um, just see us at certain competitions and think, oh, wow, they did great at that meet. And they don't really realize that you spend six to seven hours in the gym, six days a week, training as it routines over and over um, all the time. And, and they don't see the hard work that goes in all the time. But um, we work really hard. <laughs> we work six days a week, sometimes seven if we have a big competition coming up. Um, we do a lot of conditioning and running, but, and then we work on the routines mostly, and just repetitions. Shannon Miller has become an example for other young gymnasts the world over, proving that gymnastics doesn't automatically stop after you compete at one Olympics or at age 15 or 16. I think winning the nationals this year has been great, not only because of just the fact that I won, but because a lot of girls out there can say, she's 19 and she's still winning, and she just added all these new skills to her routines. Well, I can do that too, you know? And so I think it'll help others realize that they don't have to stop gymnastics at 16 or 17. They can go on until they're, you know, 19 or 20 or whenever they want to stop. <laughs> at 19 years old, Shannon is peaking at the right time. The Olympics are on American soil, and she will once again be a representative on America's team. The talk will be politically that Shannon Miller is back and on top of her game and ready to represent the sport as a young lady, which politically, that's what the judges want to see. They want to see the older girls. In fact, they actually made a new ruling that no longer can you be 15 competing at the Olympic Games, but now you have to be 16 at the next Olympic Games. So they're looking for the older athletes to be in the sport. And what a great representative to have Shannon Miller who is two-time world champion, the most decorated athlete in the United States, to win the competition or to be the number one athlete representing the United States and be that icon that they're looking for, the, the person to represent the sport, the person that will stand for women's gymnastics, not just little girls, but women's gymnastics. And uh, Shannon Miller, uh, with, with her technical perfection, with her championships behind her, and with her uh, being on a home court advantage, I'm hoping that uh, Shannon Miller is gonna come away with the biggest take ever uh, at Olympic Games. There, there, nice, there it is. All right, just keep it straight. Right at the end, you had that little bit of bent knee, and as you land solid, your knees go buckling down. Just keep it locked down. She's coming through, okay? That was a lot higher, and it didn't look rushed to me. You know, I want a nice, smooth, you're not gonna rush to the end. You wanna show that last trick, it's gotta be the exciting part. That's the cherry on top. <laughs> um, I don't think I'm married to the gym, but um, I guess for me, marriage and children can wait right now. I mean, right now my goals are the Olympics first, and then deciding what I wanna do after that but definitely continuing with college and finishing that up. And then kind of, I have to wait and see what happens after that. Well, I think any time that I go out and compete internationally, especially in the Olympic Games, um, I'm obviously not competing for myself. I'm competing for the country and I'm competing for all the people that have helped me to get where I am today.
from sea to shine.